All righty, Buster. We better mosey on back to the ship. <laughs> Whoa. Stop the presses. What? Looks like old Charlie Charming's got a little business to attend to. Can I fight? Hey, give me a quarter. Why? I'm gonna find out my future. Let's have it. What's in store for me, Pop? You have question? So, uh... When am I gonna hit the jackpot? You know, uh, all that glitz and glamour. It, it looks like a fish? Doom? Wait, what? What does that mean? Hey, what does that mean? What the hell, man? Hey, bud, let me get a go at it. Oh, yeah? You think you got the stuff? Fight? Sure. Let me another quarter? Gonna start a tab. I'll give it a whirl. Have a nice day. Hey, Chuck, we better get back to the ship. We don't want to get stranded. Come on, man, just let me ask another question. We really need to get back.
Howdy, Charlie. How's your time off? Just get me out of here already. What the hell's going on out there? I heard aircraft and gunfire. Me too. And there was a... a corpse. What? In the sick bay. Something's wrong. Let's get out of here. Bar and that song. God damn, another step. Oh, damn it, Buckley. Last time I saw him in the mess hall, he was fit as a fiddle. Poor fucker.
So, uh, is it just me, or are you getting a real strange feeling right now? Do I look like a guy who likes to talk about his feelings? <laughs> you look like a mess on wheels, Chuck. I ain't the only one. Great. Good company. Let's just get up on deck. Yeah. Fine. Agree. Yeah. Hey, Chuck? You see that kid over there? Uh... No? You feeling alright? God, no. Charlie! Won't you spare me over till another
Hello. And welcome to my repository. I am the curator, the curator of stories, stories of love and hate, greed and beauty, life and death, stories such as this one. I'm here to record the story you choose to tell. You see, this tale is only part written, and the choices you make will complete it and determine whether the lives of those with whom you are interfering continue to flourish or whether they are snuffed out. You see, we each make decisions according to our own moral compass. And we have to live with those decisions or die by them. But you shouldn't fear death. It is, after all, inevitable. It is the tax one pays for having lived and it comes, eventually, to everybody. Still, none of us want for it to come too soon, do we? As in life, the actions you take matter. The choices you make will affect others. I'll be keeping a close eye on your progress. It's not my place to interfere, but I might be persuaded to offer the occasional hint. Here's one for free. There are pictures in this world that can show you some possible futures. If you can find them and study them, they may just help you to make better decisions. Or should I say, decisions that result in the outcomes you would prefer. That's all for the moment. We'll talk again soon enough. We'll have the opportunity to account for all the actions that you've taken, or whatever mess you've made. Think we got enough? If we run out, we can always call for backup. So, uh, look. I've never been down there before. Down? The water. Diving. Well, maybe you could show me how the pros do it. Are you serious? Uh, yeah. I mean, are you serious you came out here without taking any lessons? Uh, kind of, yeah. Well, anyway, let's get this all loaded up. <laughs> Whoa, careful. That dive cam is like super expensive. Look, bro, be cool. What? Julia and Conrad are, you know, how do I say it? Super fucking loaded? So? So don't sweat the little stuff, man. It's not cool. Don't make me regret letting you tag along. Dude, you know I'm not like the best around new people. Whatever. Oh, shut up. You gotta loosen up. Ah, oh, come on. Just say yeah to everything on this trip. Wait. Trust me. I want you to have a good time. Okay, well, what if somebody asked me to do something stupid, like run around naked or something? Metaphorically. Just go with it. All right, amigo. Calvary's almost here. Cool. Sorry I'm a little snappy. I'm just... We knew medical school would be stressful, you know? Total shocker. And man... The long distance thing, Julia, it's been rough. It's been like two weeks. Huh? 
<laughs> yep. Right on cue. What? Conrad doesn't think we have enough beer. Ah, I guess I keep these in an undisclosed location. Yeah. Hey! So, uh, can I get your input on something? Yeah, what? Just, uh, kind of a big thing I'm trying to make a decision about. About finishing med school? No, but it's just kind of a big life choice, you know? I don't know what's the right thing to do. You sure you're ready? Give it some thought. Consider all the permutations. Hey! Oh, <laughs> sorry. Connie, this is Alex. Hey. What's up, man? Conrad. <laughs> Watch it, sis. Lady killer, right here. <laughs> Good to finally meet you, Conrad. This is Brad, by the way, my little bro. Hey. Bradley, I feel like I already know you. I've heard so much about you. Yeah, uh, likewise. Miss me. Hey, man. Want to crack a cold one with me? Every second. Huh. Uh, that's a lot of seconds, cowboy. I mean, I would have gone with minutes. Ah, uh, TBH? I. Kind of have a thing with uh, seasickness. Brad, Bradley, Ray Brattleberry. There's only one way to get your sea legs, and it comes in a can. Uh, fine, one. That's all. <laughs> right on, Bradical. I like the cut of your ship. It's jib. Don't ruin it. You ever do any diving before? Yeah. Totally. All the time. Nice. I was worried they're gonna stick me with a noob. Oh, uh, nope. Not noob. I can practically breathe underwater at this point. So you uh, dive a lot? A couple, three times, you know, here and there, family trips. <laughs> 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 but where's the old crust bucket skipper anyhow? I'd invite you to make yourselves at home, but, uh... So is everybody on board and ready to go? Oh, and I'm quiet. Get it all out. Uh, yeah. You uh, want to go lie down? Yeah. You know, maybe I should. Oh, boy. Let's see those hot picks. What about over here? That's pretty far out of the way. I'm just thinking about backup targets in case we don't find anything on the dive cam. Listen, to be honest, I've never heard of this wreck you're looking for. Usually these things are crawling with divers. Yeah. This one's different. I'm just saying, if it gets too late, I know some nice places where you can just take, you know, a nice dive. Brad did his homework. If he says the wreck's here, it's here. <laughs> okay, look, you're the client. I'm just saying we don't have unlimited daylight. I'm gonna go help Conrad and Julia with the camera. What you got? Feast your eyes on this. 
Brad's calculations were right on the money. Always bet on Brad. Yeah, that kid's a whiz. We should thank him. Bliss, we found a plane. Yeah? Yeah, it looks like World War II. We are ready to dive. Uh, technically, we should call this in to port authorities as an unreported wreck. Well, technically. Are you sure you don't want to do this the right way? Wait, are you saying we shouldn't dive? The right way. Come on, what is this, kindergarten? I had to bring it up. If we just go down and take a look, who's gonna know? Fine, as long as you're quick. And don't touch anything. I just can't wait to be the first one down there. Can you imagine, untouched? We should be ready to get you guys in the water in a few. I'll set up the tanks. The boys will do the final checks. Take a look at the camera, see if you can find anything useful. Righto. Hey, maybe you should check on your bro? Hmm. An opening might be a way in. There's a little gap in the tail. Take a look. Almost got the gear good to go. So, thanks again for springing for the good stuff. Nice to be able to do it right. Uh-huh. What? You know the size of my bank account is not in a competition with the size of your penis, right? I just want to make sure we're both contributing equally to the relationship with our money. It's very sweet, Alex, but you contribute in other ways. It's just money. If it helps us have a good time, great. That's what it's for. Gotta say, not too happy with our captain at the moment. If she tries to keep me from doing this dive one more time, that's it. Gloves off. That's fair. Just. Don't force her hand. All right, I'm gonna get these rebreathers set up and then we'll go through the final steps together. Cool, just holler at us when you're ready. This doesn't look kosher. You know, we have rules out here for a reason. You guys gotta respect that. Uh, yeah, sorry about before. Everybody's just a little... We've been planning this whole thing for a while now. I get it. But there are rules and laws and customs. These rules are all pretty basic stuff. How much experience do you have with these kind of dives? How experienced are you? <laughs> Excuse me? I mean, I know what your fake credentials say, but I don't know the truth. <sighs> Were you snooping around? You don't trust me? 
the fake certificate is only temporary. My old one expired and renewal out here is like extortion, okay? This dive is supposed to bankroll the fees. But that's not exactly following the rules now, is it? So I guess that applies to all of us. For all you know, this could be a war grave. Disturbing it would be illegal and immoral. Come on, you see anyone else out here? Who's gonna know? We logged our route at the harbor. If someone sees it's been disturbed, it ain't gonna be hard to put two and two together. Especially if some little souvenirs show up online. <laughs> you know what? I can't stop you. Just respect the rules down there. Don't do anything stupid that'll get my ass in trouble. You know how to use that? Uh, no, not really. You might wanna just let it do its thing. How you doing? Sorry, that brewski got the better of me. Jeez, man. You should know how to handle your liquor. Lay off. I was just trying to bond with Conrad, like you said. My guzzling brews? Come on. Okay, okay. You go hit the high seas. I'll be up when I'm good. I'm sure Julia left anything on the mainland. This only smelled as good as it cost. At least it made her happy. 